add yourself to talk about how you're feeling today and it looks like we got a few people in there already and the notes we don't have any notes for today so i'm going to go off of last week's notes and the action items in there since we're getting close to the season of the holidays um so we're not going to have meetings for the next two weeks just as a note and um looks like we're closing things up for the year so do we have any metrics updates for the metrics that we're working on for release so georg had i think the last time um we had concluded chat channel inclusivity, which is there. I think we kind of put closure to that. Which is not chat platform inclusivity. I think yep. it was the last second change. Yep, I think you're right. <laughs> there's a there's a published blog about that, by the way. Right, and now there's a blog too. So thanks, because I think some <clears throat> some poop emojis. <laughs> <laughs> made it to the made it to the published blog basically we didn't want to include them in the in the metric itself so yeah uh, i think we have a hmm. i thought we had a the pull request open for this oh yeah. we do okay so i'm going to add the pull request link um, so it's it's not just a pull request now it's uh the full um released and Kevin, I renamed the block title in WordPress. Oh, yeah, certainly. Yeah, but I didn't change the URL since I wasn't sure if you had already posted somewhere. Uh, I hadn't posted it anywhere, but the uh, I know the the Twitter posting is automatic, so I'm uh, I'm assuming that's taking the uh, the original link. Yeah. So it changes your chat channel APIs because it's really about APIs. Sorry. Okay. You... Yeah, that, that's fine. With the for sorting purposes, the that high level title, I usually try to keep it work group related, and then the uh, when you get into it, the the actual title of the blog comes up. Otherwise, there's duplication because the the markdown document you give me has a title in it. And then when I create the WordPress uh, blog, there would be a title. So, so I, so I kind of use that hierarchical method to, to sort. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't know if that's a conversation we need to have right now, um, because I have some thoughts on that. Okay. But I'm happy to talk about it real quick. My issue with having a different higher higher level block post title is because that is the WordPress title. Mm -hmm. And so that's what shows up in recent posts. True. And it was a nondescript DNI metrics, I think, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm fine either way, or I, I'm fine with, with uh, however we want to do it. However, if we, uh, if we are going to uh, change that titling, we need to change the directions for how we do blog posts. Uh, Something to think about when we move the platform. Certainly. Yeah, that, that, that entire process does need to be streamlined a little bit better, so. Okay. Um, so I do what? really like the graphic here too. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't, I would rather have the poop emojis in the X's but <laughs> I guess that makes sense that we're not doing that. But I'm oh, sorry, Kevin, you had something to say? No, he was not. He was oh. me. Oh, okay. Do I sound like Kevin? I don't sound like Kevin, I think. <laughs> Similar <laughs> kind of like. That's all right. <laughs> I like it. Um, so do, um, with respect to getting the metric on the provide feedback page, what do we need? You know, like on the metrics page, what do we need from that, Kevin? You know what I mean? Uh, actually, I haven't looked at that yet. So, is the is it ready to is it ready to be in review? No, it's not. Uh, the pull request is still open. 
Oh, okay. So we need to update the pull request. Mm -hmm. I can do it since Justin is not here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after we merge the pull request, then we can create the page on the website and open the issue for review. For review, okay. And make sure you add it to the release notes document. So generally the, 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 signal, the signal for me that it needs to be on the website is the creation of that issue. Uh, now, whether, whether or not I create, you reach out to me and ask me to create the issue, or if you create the issue, that's the, either way, that's the, the signal that needs to be moved to the website for me. Okay. So, Garrick, is there anything with respect to the pull request and merging it? Because maybe we could just take care of this now, and then I can create the issue. There were some changes I asked Justin to do, and because it's on his repository, I don't have edit access to edit the okay, file so that is not part here. So we'll have to wait, um, merge it, and then make the change in our repository if you want to do it now. Oh, or we wait. What kind of change? What requests were they? I'm not looking at it. Um, it needs to be linked in our focus area. I mean, if it's kind of just procedural things, maybe we could just do it here, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm just gonna update the um, the blog post link. Okay. That I can do. I like how Justin used Markdown. Okay, I made the change. I approved the pull request. I squash and merge. And it's added. So Kevin, you now have a URL to include, to, to create the page. And then we need to create the issues page. Okay, I'm, so, I'm waiting. Once Kevin gets that, I have the issue all set. You know what I mean? I think Kevin needs the issue number. So you need to actually create the yeah, issue. The issue number and the uh, all right. Let me get the title correct first here. Uh, uh, give me a second. And this is called. Chat platform inclusivity, right? Yes. All right. So it's here, Kevin. There you go. Gary, can you drop the GitHub location real quickly? If you have it handy. Yep, I was, I had it in my. Thank you. I, um, I already had it copied, whatever it's called. The area where you copy things to. The board? The clipboard, yes, thank you. <laughs> my brain so, is sometimes struggling with deciding whether to look for German or English words and then it can't find any words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So that um, that sounds good. It's now a candidate for release. I'm proud of this metric because it's gone a long way. I want to know what clipboard is in German. Zwischenablage. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, in between put place. Translated. <laughs> I love it. Extremely accurate. <laughs> Reminds me of um, Krankenwagen. Yes. His ambulance. <laughs> All right. German and Luxembourgish words that are kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Von Schoop, which is a bean soup. <laughs> and it's good too. Yeah, so we have, we, we, we put an action item for the whole working group yet last week to work on the documentation discoverability metric this time. Is that where we are now? So, um, uh, that, uh, that GitHub location link is broken. Oh, weird. See, it, it works for me. No, it didn't work for me. Uh, I'll go get it. I'll fix it in the issue. Carry on. Oh, we have some um, some some um, markdown issue too on the file. I just saw that. Yeah. Okay. So you can take, yeah. Okay. Unless those points are just very very important on their own. <laughs> but um, so um. As we get that link fixed, let's go ahead and start working on documentation discoverability. Do we want to do a like a another 10 minute session or how do we want to do this as a community? I think the best thing for this metric is because <laughs> we've brought up multiple times and we somehow don't seem to have as a group the the drive to really look at the two metrics we already put together and yank out everything from this document that is already published there. And I think that's just, one of us needs to just pick up the task, maybe do it outside this meeting, slim it down to the core, and then we discuss it again in the group. Well, that makes sense. Who would be able to take up that action item to review this out of them? I mean, I can... Georg just volunteer? <laughs> I thought so. I'm happy to take a look at it. So Georg and Matt G uh, have graciously volunteered. I, I was volunteered. I did not volunteer. Voluntold. Told. Yeah. I put you both down. Um, so, and I promise I won't have a clicky keyboard after the new year. <laughs> Uh, it is, it is so, it's annoying to me too at this point, but <laughs> okay. So um, we don't have anything else in the agenda unless we have something else to bring up. Could always make this a short meeting for the holidays. We've been having a few short meetings this week. Just kind of, yeah. well, like I, it's, it's silly to bring up anything new at this point. Cause come January, we're just going to have to be like, what were we talking about again? So to me, we just put closure on this metric. It's on the web page. That works. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, I'll just fix the mark down. <laughs> now, are we yeah. skipping the next two or the next three? Because we kind of had this discussion in the last meeting I was in that we were taking two weeks off, but it actually was three meetings that was being skipped. I know earlier in the meeting, we said it was two weeks. So if someone has really good calendar skills, obviously I don't can determine whether it's two or three weeks. It's the sixth is when we have our next meeting right. of January. So that would be two weeks. Yeah, we're that's, count either. that's the same meeting date we're starting up again. And we said we were skipping three weeks. It's full three weeks in between meetings, but we are not meeting in two weeks of them. Okay, so we're canceling two, and we meet back on the third. We're canceling the 23rd yeah. and the 30th, and those are the two weeks. Okay.
Well, in that case. Yeah, uh, that sounds like uh, we'll see you on the 6th uh, if you want to come to this meeting again. And um, <laughs> we'll hope to see you on the 6th is what I meant to say. And <laughs> we'll see you around um, the next year in a year. And uh, I guess I can't say a year from now, but the next year. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. See you, everybody. Bye-bye. See ya. Thank you. Bye.